What is up guys, Dane again from Punchbold. And you know, today we're gonna to be talking about a Facebook ad campaign called Video Views. Now, in my personal opinion, Video Views is probably my most favorite campaign to run. And let me explain why. Now, it has been found, especially since the big Facebook uh, algorithm change, that video is gonna be the new big thing. I mean, think about it. Twitter does video, LinkedIn does video, Instagram does video, and of course, Facebook does video, especially with its Facebook Live. We're not gonna be talking so much about Facebook Live today, but we're gonna be talking about why you should be doing video view campaigns. Now, as I said, all the major platforms are pushing video. They want video content to be the new big deal. And that's great that they're actually doing that. I know from my own personal experience that say running an engagement campaign uh, with just a still image versus running a video views campaign, you know, the views, like if you have good content, the views are gonna be so much cheaper. I know one of the biggest things that I've noticed running campaigns for my clients is that videos are cheap to run. I mean, think of this way, the platform wants you to push video. So if you do push video, guess what? They reward you by having a lower ad cost. And that's great for you and your client because your client doesn't want to spend a lot of money, let's be honest. Now, another thing to really think about is that, I mean, you know that old timey phrase of, of, you know, pictures say a thousand words? Well, a video is a thousand pictures. That means you have thousands of words. You can make your brand so much more relatable if you post a video of yourself, which is like what I'm doing right here. I mean, I could type this all out and I probably could be okay writing. It's not my strong suit, but you know, it's just me typing it out. And with a picture of me going, oh, you know, it, it really doesn't make any sense. Video allows people to really get, to kind of get an idea about you because they can see your face, they can see your lips moving, they can hear you talk, they can see how you talk, they can see your body uh, movements while you're speaking. It makes you and your brand a lot more relatable because instead of just being a still image, which can be photoshopped and stuff like that, they're seeing you in your natural element. So I really recommend all you guys go ahead and do a video views campaign. How about if I show you how to do one? Let's go ahead and head over to the computer and I'll go ahead and show you guys how to set up a video views campaign. All right guys, so let's go ahead and set up a video views campaign. Now, I'm going to be doing this for my personal business, and let's jump right on into it. As you can see right here, I'm in Power Editor, and you can absolutely set up this campaign in Power Editor, but me personally, I actually like starting with Ads Manager. I'm probably just a little bit more old school, and what can I say? I really like that nice green shiny button that says Create Ad. To me, it means I'm actually at least moving forward, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Now, in the past, video views used to be part of the engagement ad, and um, it, was, it was actually pretty recently that they decided to spin it off. Now, as I mentioned earlier, all the platforms are really pushing video, hence why we now have our own video views campaign objective. So go ahead and make a nice name for your campaign. So mine's going to be, I always do VV for video views. Make sure it's something that you can easily recognize and hopefully spell. I uh, never said I could spell. And go to the next screen. Now this is the ad set area. This is where we want to decide who do we want to show this video to. Now it's always good to take a little bit of a mental check and think who is your audience and who do you want to show this at. It's so easy just to do a couple of really generic terms and throw your ad out there. The only downside is that you're going to be spending a lot of money to do that. And one thing to think about is with this video, what do you want to do? Now, for the video that I'm going to be doing, I'm just doing it just to spread awareness by, you know, using a video. So that is what I'm going to be doing. And since it's a video view campaign, Facebook is going to be sending it out to people who are more likely to watch a video. So I want these people to watch my video. I want to bring awareness about what I teach. And also, I'm probably going to be aiming for younger people. So right from here, you can you can create a new audience or you can use a save audience. Now, this is one I created uh, targeting people who live in California who are interested in Instagram because I had a video about Instagram and I want people to see what I have put together. This time, let's go ahead and create a new one. Now, one thing I like to do and I do for my clients is that I do local ads, I mean ads that are focused only on a certain target area. 
So let me go ahead and fill out that information of what I would typically target for when it comes to a local area. Now notice that I'm actually cutting down on the reach area. I personally like to do that. Orange County is a, a pretty pricey place and right now I'm staying in kind of the Temecula Valley area. I also tend to do at least two others. Now the reason why I do these two others is because it really sort of encompasses the areas I want to be seen in. Tater Town, USA and you cut that down there and as you can tell I mean this is the area that I roughly live in so please don't stalk me but this is kind of the area that I'm looking to educate people in now down here is age group and let's be honest with what I'm trying to teach I probably want to be at least say mid 50s and younger and of course right here since I speak English I want to make sure English speakers see what I'm talking about now, as you can tell right here, this is showing me how many people I am potentially reaching, okay? And that's just everyone in this location. Real quick tip, if, you want, if you're a brick and mortar business, you probably want to focus on people who live in this location. Because, as you can tell, wow, that dropped a lot by just saying people who live in this location. Because, keep in mind, there's two very large freeways that go through this area. That's also counting all the people who are just traveling by. Now right here, you can also go ahead and either include or exclude people who like your Facebook page. For me, I'm not really going to mess with that. And of course, probably the best thing about Facebook, detailed targeting. Now, I have seen two schools of thought on targeting. Some people say to start broad and then work your way in. And then there's some people that say start, you know, start in already. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and do Facebook. Ah. Oh. Let's see, do they have, oh, didn't mean to do that. Let's just do Facebook ads and see what we get. Or just Facebook at this point. <laughs> so the people are interested in Facebook in this area is about that many. Now this is, in my opinion, the most important part to make sure we don't spend a lot of money we don't need to. Facebook will automatically put your ad wherever it sees fit. However, let's be honest, when you're on Facebook, where are your eyes at? Right there in the feeds. So what I do is I personally deselect everything else. Now, I'll leave it up to you if you want to do Instagram. I personally take it off. And I know some people do well with audience network, but, mm, you know, in my opinion, if I'm marketing on Facebook, I want to be right where people's eyes are at. Now down here is budget, and this is where we're going to see this probably drop a lot. Most people like to start with $5 a day. What I've found is that usually starting at about $5 a day, you usually can get enough to test things out without blowing all your money. Once you find out which ad combination is working, you know, say like the targeting or the ad creative, and you know which one is doing the best, you can go ahead and maybe start bumping it up if you feel like it's worth scaling. Another thing I always make sure to make sure I don't go over budget is I always set a start and end date. For example, if I did not pay attention, I could have ran this ad for 28 days and spent $139. That is not very economical, especially considering the fact that there is no you know direct link to something that will actually make an ROI on it. So say if I'm running this ad, I probably want to run out of gas by tomorrow to make a nice clean $5. Around here, I just go ahead and leave it as is. Automatic's fine. Facebook is pretty good about making sure you're getting a good economical bid. It's not like they're trying to rip, your off, rip off your money in that way. And then we click continue. Now, for me, I always have to make sure that I, am, I have this uh, selected on the right page. Since we're doing my page, let's go ahead and click it over. And now you have two options at this point. Say if you're uploading a video for the first time, you can either upload a video or, and this will really help you out and give you kind of like no excuse to not do video views, you can also do a slideshow. So say if you have like about five to 10 really good pictures about your brand, go ahead and just upload them here and create a slideshow. Yes, you can pull from an album on your Facebook page. I was helping out a photographer with that. And he did a video view of just a slideshow of videos, and he actually got um, a couple of leads from that for his business, and it was great. Now, if you already have a video uploaded on your feed, which I do, you can go up here and just 
use existing post. And then you can select it. Oops. Make sure it's always on the right one because I'm not about to advertise that I do mattresses. Then go ahead and select the right video. And this is the one I'm going to use. This is a this is pretty much a video about the easiest way to create reach reach on Facebook. It's something that I'm going to be doing a little bit later. But as you can tell, pulled the video up right there. I really like the copy and it makes me pretty happy. And you right here you do have the option to add captions. Pretty useful. Check this out. As you can tell, Facebook will automatically generate captions and you can go ahead and edit them. Make sure you do cuz sometimes they do get a little bit off. This time around, I'm not going to do it. And also another thing I always recommend, if they say give you an, a call to action button, do it, do it, do it. Um, from what I've heard, learn more is usually just the fail safe one to go with if you're not ever sure. Um, I have had some clients where they work better with different buttons. For example, my escape room client, I did an A-B test between using learn more or book now and book now was so much better. If you're not really sure, I would just stick with learn more and make sure you put in your website. Now it doesn't have to be your website. For example, say if you have a landing page to an offer, this is exactly where you would put it. And once you click update post, it is right there. See, learn more. Once you're all done, you click that nice green confirm button. Now if this happens, and this has happened a couple of times, let me show you what you do. It says campaign schedule is too short. All you simply do is you go back here. And I've noticed this happens if you're doing it like trying to be exact as possible. Um, it's, it's because of the day. Go ahead and pop it to 6 p.m. That makes it really one day, one day, and it makes them a little bit happier. Because you have to figure while I'm talking, you know, I'm wasting a lot more time uh, trying to show how to do all this. But then you click confirm again, and... Voila! And since I give Facebook a lot of money, <laughs> they already approved it. And there's my ad right there. It's active. Oh boy. So guys, if you found this video informative, helpful, uh, amusing, let me know if I'm being stupid. Uh, go ahead and give me a comment, a like, a subscribe, and I'll keep on making more videos trying to show you guys how to make effective local Facebook ads in 2018. As always, my name's Dane, and keep on wrenching.